Of all these three, the easiest is Libani now. Because you will be able to figure out right away, inshallah. Huh? Next sentence, brothers and sisters. Uktub kitabatan. Okay? Uktub kitabatan. And kitabatan is the master from kataba. So this is your mafulun mutlak. What is after that? Naat. So as soon as you see the naat, libayani now. Huh? Please keep that in mind and you will be able to figure it out with ease, inshallah. Write legibly. Or write a clear writing. Because when you say, Uskur Allah, are you with me? Uskur Allah, Zikran Kathiran. Okay? Zikran, Mafurun Mutla, Kathiran, Naat. So what will you say? Libayani now. Libayani now. So it's very easy. These three things are important, brothers and sisters, to keep it in mind. When you study mafulun matlat, fine. The fourth thing is something that we have been doing it since the beginning of book two, and Alhamdulillah, you all are very quick, you know, in uh, figuring it out. Brothers and sisters, shukran. What is shukran? Mafulun matlat. Huh? But you see, shukran alone came in the sentence. Where is the verb? It's mazuf. Huh? So what, what will you call it? You will say, al-mastarul naibu an fialihi. Means, the master which is deputizing for the verb. Huh? The verb is not mentioned. So the master is now deputizing for the verb. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The master is deputizing for the verb. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So whenever you will see only the master mention, which is mafulun mutlak, with no mention of the verb, what will be your uh, explanation? Al Mastaru Naibu. Huh? What is the meaning of Al Mastaru and Naibu? The master which deputizes for the verb. A master which deputizes for the verb. Huh? That's all, brother. So you have to kind of memorize these expressions. Al Mastaru Naibu and Fialihi, and then Li taqidi ma'ana, li bayani adadi, and li bayani nawi. All these things, inshallah, you will memorize. And they are easy because we will be repeating it over and over again today. Huh? You got the idea? Now we come to the next paragraph. But let us read the fourth one properly as a substitute for the verb. Huh? That's the fourth one. Huh? In this case, only the master is used. Clear, brothers and sisters? Only the master is used. Sabran. Have patience. Here the master is a substitute for the Amar. Isbir. The actual sentence is Isbir Sabran. Hmm? But we only use Sabran. So the master is a substitute for the Verb, which was not used. Got the idea? Shukran. I thank you. Here, the master is a substitute for the mudarya. Ashkuru. Huh? Ashkuru ka. Shukran. Got the idea? So when only shukran came, or only sabran came, then that master is a substitute for the verb. And how do you Describe in the grammar Al Mastarul Naibu An Fialihi. 
An here will mean for its fear, for its verb. Now we come to the next paragraph, brothers and sisters. Words which deputize for the master. This is very interesting, very important. And I should say it is not difficult. We just have to understand it. If you understand it, it will become very easy. And I will go very slowly, slowly, brothers and sisters, so that you can have a good meaning of it, uh, idea of it, you know. The following words deputize for the master and are therefore mansub. Therefore, mansub. And are grammatically regarded in the grammar, they are regarded as. What are they regarded as? Mafulun mutlak. They are not the master of the verb occurring in the sentence. They are not. They are only coming as a substitute. They are only deputizing. But we will call them, brothers and sisters, Mafulun mutlak. The actual master will come as a mudaf ilihi. Are you with me? The actual master will come as a mudaf ilihi. And it will be very clear from the sentence. Look at it, brother and sisters. What are those words? Kulla ba'da ayya. Remember, it has to be mansub. In order for us to call them mafulun mutlak, it has to be mansu. And the actual master will come as a mudafilehi for kulla, ba'da, and ayya. And this, brothers and sisters, we know from our study that kul, most of the time, will have mudafilehi. Huh? You know ba'da will have mudafilehi. Ayyu will have mudafilehi. So we know that these three Words will always have mudaf ilahi. But in this particular case, the mudaf ilahi will be the master of the verb used in the sentence. Huh? Inshallah. You will keep that in mind. Arifuhu, I know him. How well do you know him? Kulal ma'rifati. So, Ma'rifati is the master from Arafa Ya'rifu. But it came as a Mudafili. So, what will you say, brothers and sisters, now? Where is the Mafulun Mutlaq? Kulla. You will say Mafulun Mutlaq is Kulla. And then you will say Mafulun Mutlaq Kulla. And you will say Naibun Anil Mastari. Write down this, brother. This sentence you will write down. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Hmm? Next one, brothers and sisters. Akhazani. What is Akhaza? That is not correct. Akhaza, form 3. Akhaza, yuakhizu. Not form 4, but form 3. Huh? Okay? Means to punish somebody or reprimand somebody, to hold somebody responsible for something, to take someone to task. Akhaza nil mudiru, badal. Muakhazati. See, look at it. Akhaza, yuakhizu. And what is the master? Mufa'alatun. Mufa'alatun. Muakhazatun. That is your master. So, ba'dal muakhazati. What is the translation? The mudir punished me to some extent. Means he gave me some punishment. So what is Ba'ada, brother? Ma'fulun mutlak. And how, how will you describe? Naibun anil mastari. 